something in the soul that cries out for freedom. People just realized, you know, I'm, I'm going to fight for my dignity and I'm going to fight for my country and I'm just going to go out on the street and, and, and get this done myself. You know, this is the first revolution in the world that was on Facebook as an event 12 days before it happened. People were clicking, I am attending. If we can gather lots and lots of people together, unified on a demand, and bring them all to uh, you know, a big square, you can change things, you can bring down the head of the government, you can do things. Tahrir is liberty in Arabic. So that's that symbol of liberty. We wanted to, you know, conquer the forces to reach liberty. And it was, it was just like, a, what do you call it? A shot in the dark. Let's see where it goes. You can't imagine the power. Once you step with your foot, you find 30,000 foot behind you stepping on the, on the floor. It's a real earthquake. People were shaking the ground from their voices of, of fighting for their freedom. It was cross-class, it was cross-religion, it was cross-generation. In all directions, I saw people. And this is when I realized it is a revolution. I was in the middle of it, and I never realized that it was happening. You know, they, they can't arrest us all. They can't go after every one of us. There is a price to be paid, and, uh, and we are willing to pay it. And Mubarak uh, had a, uh, a sense that uh, suppression works. This is how they treat people. This is how they treat people. Such a thinking means that uh, people did not really matter. Their anger did not really matter, as long as they will be under control. Revolutions means bloodshed, and freedom is not cheap. I knew at the time that um, the value of freedom was much stronger than their fear of being beaten or even being dead. Because we all know that we are going to die. How you are going to die is what makes all the difference. You go away with dignity or you go away with cowardice. You want to beat us up, we'll beat you up. If you, if you touch us, we'll touch you. We are the people. We're having a revolution now. We're not having a dialogue. This is where things got so bloody. And I'm talking live ammunition, not just rubber bullets. I'm talking about targeting civilians. <laughs> I saw people being shot in their chest, I saw people being shot in their stomach, in their uh, legs. Uh, I've never seen so much blood in my life. I've never seen any, anything like this before. A man right, standing right next to me, he got shot in the head. And his head exploded all over. I lost my sense of fear. At some point when I, yeah, the, the, logic, the logical thing is found yourself scared when somebody killed beside you. 
I just got a lot of courage to continue. We are very exhausted and the police uh, run off much of their uh, uh, ammunition and another half a million coming. We are not the people that used to be. We are a new people now. 28th of January was the date fear died in Egypt.